Donut Man, and this is my show. From near to far, go and see it all. From downtown to out of town. From city park to national forest. From farmland to farm animals. I grew up here, so let's go. See it all on Theratown. Welcome to our first episode of Theratown. I'm here with owner of Rancho Vet Tack and Feed, Molly Hurtado. So, Molly, how did Rancho Vet get started? Well, Rancho Vet Vet got started about eight years ago because I love animals myself. And I come from a, a farm. My father was a milker. So I grew up on a, on a dairy myself, and uh, so that's how I got started, the love of animals. What was the first animal you had around here? Birds. Then we went into chickens, rabbits, guinea pigs. I had guinea pigs. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, we had peacocks, ponies, and uh, pigs, <laughs> goats too. Baby goats, they're fun, especially when we get to bottle feed. And we're going to bottle feed one today. <gasps> That's exciting. I can't wait to see. Oh, yeah. It's a baby kitten. It's six weeks old. This is a baby kitten. See, she's... She's meowing right now because she's yeah. scared. She's six weeks old. They were just brought in uh, yesterday. Yeah, we're also oh, they we're also brought in yesterday. Uh huh. We're also on animal rescue. Cool okay. animal me... rescue. That's awesome. Uh -huh. Oh oh oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she likes to play. Yeah. Do kittens like to play? Like kids do, like little little babies do they do they do sometimes we put little strings in there and Aww. the customers like to play with them what about your animal rescue the animal rescue is for people that can't afford um to take them over to the shelter they bring them to us and we don't put any any animal down they will live here until we find them a home that's nice so that goes for all animals birds Goats, dogs, kittens. That's cool. Yes. So they live here. So we try to make them as comfortable as we can. Aww, what a cute mm -hmm. little kitten. Now let's go see the baby chicks with Molly. Okay, so who's the mother of the chick? The mother of the chicks is a chicken. A chicken. They have lots of different mommies. So oh, was, oh, so they're yeah. not from the same family. I no, no, they're from a hatchery. Oh, and who the and they have lots of different daddies too, right? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> it's a little more in detail there. The eggs are put into an incubator, mm -hmm. and then they're put under heat, and 21 days, 21 days later, they're born. Oh. But these guys are only a day old. A day old? Wow, did you know that, kid? Yeah, these guys are called Polish. They're gonna it's have... a baby hen. Yes, it's a baby hen. It's going to be a hen, isn't yeah, it? They're going to have, a, they call them a top hat. It's a Polish. It has a pompadour on his head. How can you tell the difference between a pullet and a cockling? Well, when they grow, he's going to grow um, a cockerel here. Mm -hmm. And the the chicken doesn't grow one. The hen. The, yes, the hen. Okay. Can I hold it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, don't be scared, little girl. Oh, you're a little girl, aren't you? You're... See, there are all kinds of them there. Oh, they're she's all... so cute. She's so soft. Oh, they're adorable. Uh... Can you put her gently back? Okay. Thank you. Now let's go see the baby goat, kid. Let's go see him. <laughs> okay. Tiny. Oh. Without any feathers. <laughs> They're ugly, huh? <laughs> kind of. We're back on the Rancho Vet Tack and Feed. 
This is Molly Hurtado. And I have now I have some questions about the exotic bird. How can you tell, I, I mean, um, what do they look like when they're newborn? They have no feathers. They're, they're little, pink, right? They're pink, right? They look like just skin. A little, little tiny thing. Mm. Mama, mama will uh, feed them. Worm. By mouth, not yeah. worm, but like grapes. If they were in the wild, yes, they would feed them worms and whatever they can find. But mm-hmm. right now they're in living in cages, so mm-hmm. they they eat their bird feed that belongs to them. Do they have any worm ingredients? Sometimes they do. Oh, that's an interesting fact. Did you know that, kid? Hello, and we're gonna ask about the birds. How can you tell different from a male? And the female exotic bird. The male birds are usually brighter. They're prettier. Mm-hmm. Their colors are more intense. And the females are usually on the doll side, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Uh, those are diamond doves. Those are finches. And over there are parakeets. Mm-hmm. And those are opalines, cockatiels. Those are rosellas. See the pretty rosellas right here? Yeah. Uh-huh. And those are rock pebblers. Yeah. They're pretty, huh? Those are uh, parrots. The rosella comes from the parakeet family. Cool. Like these guys over here. Oh, cool. Do the, we're gonna do the goat after this, right? We'll do the goat. We'll do the goat. We'll do the goat now. How old are these chicks? These chicks now have become about a month old. Some of them are going on two months old. Remember inside when they were inside the incubating room? Yeah. They're, that's where they go when they're first born. They they stay there for a month until they get their feathers, and then we bring them out here. Okay. And then they get moved on to the next stage over there as they get older. Yeah. Do you want to know what they eat? Yeah, chicken feed, right? Right. <laughs> Very good. It's like ground up corn. Oh, is there any worm feed in it? No worms. Oh, okay. I have chickens at home. I give them mealworms. Oh. I love them. My chicken I have at home, and oh man, golly. They just scare my cat. They do? They scare my kitten. Wow, I have two dogs at home and they play together with the chickens. <laughs> yeah. All right, now are we going to feed the goat? Okay, and cut. Hold on a second. Yeah, so how, this goat is five days old, you said, right? Yes, it's five days old. It was dropped off here um, probably right as it was born. Aww. And uh, the umbilical cord was still... Um, was still wet. The umbilical cord was still wet and um, they were pretty dehydrated and just I don't know what happened maybe mommy died or something but these were dropped off in a box in the front of the store. Oh poor baby. Mm -hmm. Oh oh my god oh my god. We don't want to lose him. Boy goat or a girl baby goat? I think this one is the boy. A little boy. (laughs) 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 Where's mama? I'm probably an animal. I like getting me a couple of mine. These are my guinea pigs, um, and you and me. I need them after my favorite rock band. They don't like to be held, but they fill up to cuddle, eat, and watch TV.
a cat Chiba. Kitty love to be held, but if you ha want to hold them, you have to support them, rub them, and love them very gently. They don't like chicken now. Chicken don't like to be held, though, but they love being fed bread. Hi, chicken. These are my fish. I can't tell them apart, so I named them Fishtopia. Those are my animals and enjoy the rest of the show. Well, the goat's milk. It is, and it tastes good too. Are you ready, kid, to watch it? Let's feed the goat the moment you've been waiting for. Da 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 da. How do I do it? Okay, pick it, pick it up, honey. Pick it up. Pick Lift it up. Gravity. I learned this from Pet the Video Game. <laughs> Oops. Thank you, honey. Don't you want more? You gotta turn it upside down, sweetie, so she can drink it. There you go. Aww. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. She loves her milk. Try not to get it on mom. No, it's okay. That's it. You have a good milk, yay! That's good. How much milk does he drink a day? He, he's drinking um, three bottles a day. Three bottles a day, about eight ounces. And uh, sometimes if he's hungry, we give him more. <laughs> what do people buy goats for? Um, people buy goats for different reasons. Some people buy goats for pets. Mm -hmm. And some people buy goats for uh, milk. <laughs> he thinks your fingers is bottled. <laughs> over here. Come on back over here. <laughs> Those are baby rabbits. Those are baby rabbits. Uh -huh. Do I see the baby rabbit? These are baby rabbits. These were born probably about uh, two weeks ago. Wow, that's young. They were born here. They were born over there on the other side. And, uh, Who's their mommy and daddy? Over there. Oh, can we see them? Yes, we can. <laughs> We're going to see the parents of the baby rabbit. <laughs> the white one is the mommy. Where's the daddy? The daddy, I think, got adopted out. The daddy had black eyes. White with black eyes, so I think he got adopted out. Aw, can we see, um, can I hold the bunny, mommy bunny? These guys aren't sociable. They're very, uh... I guess you can't hold a parent bunny, huh? They're a little wild right now. How do you make a bunny sociable? You can make the bunny y your pet by holding it every day for a little while. Ten minutes a day. Love it. Put it down every day for ten minutes and he will be eating out of your hand. Good, because I want a bunny someday. <laughs> Bunnies. The pygmy goats are brother and sister. The brown one and the black one. What's that one? Well, these two are, are brother and sister. Those are pure pygmy goats. They're not going to get much bigger. Oh. That one over there is a cross between an alpine. What about that one? That one? You like that one, huh? cute. That's a pygmy goat. No, but I mean the brown one. If that's not, if they're not siblings, then what are they're they? siblings. Oh, those are siblings. Those two are siblings. Then what's the other third one? The other one is an alpine with pygmy. Oh, is it a cousin? Mmm, kinda. Oh, it's a cousin. Kinda like a cousin. 
It's kind of from the same family, but it's got a different daddy. Yeah, so that's like their uncle. Kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> Is this a girl or are they girl are these girl or a boy? I think this one is a boy. A boy, lots of boys. What's that one? Is that a girl or a one? It's okay. Pet him, honey. This is a girl. Oh, that's a little girl doll. She If you're holding him like this, put your hand underneath his little tummy. Put her. your hat. Her. Put your hand under, over her, and you put him down like this. Coming to okay, you. Be very careful. Very, very careful. There you go. Both hands. <laughs> She's looking at me. <laughs> now, how do you set her down? Under her tummy. Yeah. There, yeah. there we go. Thanks for letting us see the puppies, Molly. Anything else we want to see? Uh, we have some peacocks over here. Do you want to see those? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a rooster. That's a rooster. Rocky. Rocky. All right. You named him. Okay. <laughs> we go with Rocky now. <laughs> so what about peacocks and peahens? Well, the peacocks and the peahens uh, don't know too much about them other than they're beautiful. When they reach about a year old, they they uh, their feathers are they get the feathers with the eyes. What do pea chick look like? Like a chicken, real little. Oh, the on the peacocks, like I said, when they reach a year old, their feathers come in really pretty when they spread them out. Really pretty. Where do you know the eyes on mm -hmm. the feathers? Mm -hmm. when they're about a year old. Oh, these wow. Guys, these guys are not quite a year old. That's why there's no eyes on the end of their feathers. Oh. If you know what I mean by an eye. Yeah. The, the eyeballs on the fe at the end of the feather. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're not, they're still babies. Yeah. That okay. one's more grown up, I can tell. This one's not a rescue. This one's my grandchildren's uh, pony. This is your grandchildren's pony? Yes. Yes. They've uh, graduated into bigger horses now. They learned on ponies, and now they've gone on to their bigger horses. Cool. But it's a great horse to learn on when you're little. That's awesome because it's not as high, huh? Not as high, so you don't have that far to fall. And and I'm guessing like uh, a a teen like a teeny popper or a horse you can't ride on because they're not a develop and it'd be hard on them, huh? Yes, yes, you're very right. What treat does she like? Does she like sugar to you? She likes sugar. She likes carrots, Aww. apples, Aww. and it's a he. This a is a boy. He. Oh, it's a boy. You have yeah, a lot of boys. we seem to have a lot of boys here, huh? <laughs> Uh, is it called a man, a stallion? It's exactly. A stallion. And if it's a stallion, um, and then if they're, like, he's gilded. So it's a stallion, which is a boy. A mm -hmm. mare is a girl. Mm -hmm. And um, if they can't have babies anymore, they're called, um, they're called gilded. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Like. Sir? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Is there any good animal care tip for the kids and family? Well, the, the best thing you can do is love them a lot. Make sure they have food and water every day. Mm -hmm. Clean up after them. That's a really important to always clean up after them. And uh, give them a bath. Yeah. Here and there whenever it's needed. That was it. That was our episode of Th Thank you for watching the, our episode of Theratown. Thanks to Molly. 
we had a great episode here at Rancho Vet Tack and Feed. Thank you, Molly. You're welcome, sweetheart. Anytime. <laughs> My name is Anthony Suarez. Um, we take care of a lot of uh, customers, of course, uh, with vaccines, um, dog food, cat food, just general animals itself. I'm Hector Suarez. We here all not only take care of our customers, but our animals, make sure that they're with water, fed, and they're in good treatment. So that way, when we do adopt them out to our customers, they're in great health. Chava. I'm Chava. My name is uh, Salvador Medina. I am Katie. I take care of the animals and the customers. <laughs> 